Modes for Guitar by Tom Cole. This is by far the best book on modes for guitar, period. Well, that's just my opinion, but if you know something better or something else, then be sure to share it with us in the comments. This book on the musical modes was recommended to me 17 years ago by my guitar teacher. And at the time I did not fully understand its content, but over the years I've come back to this book again and again. To be honest, I would even recommend this book to songwriters and other instrumentalists. And just to be clear, I'm not being sponsored to make this video, and especially not about the book that was published in 2001. And this video is not only a review, but it's also a short introduction into the world of the musical modes, so it should be educational as well. Here are some reasons why I find this book to be so useful. It is to the point and it has just the right amount of background information about each mode. The quick reference guides at the beginning of each chapter are killer, but more on that later. And there are many great tips and exercises which have notes, chords and taps, so almost anybody can follow along. And what I really like is that in the second part of the introduction he tells us how you can use the musical modes, which are as a melodic device to solo over diatonic chord progressions, to use it for modal chord progressions and play melodies over modal harmony, or to use modes as altered scales. This is for example when you use an A Phrygian scale where you would actually expect a melody in A Aeolian or minor scale as it's called. Each chapter and each mode is introduced with what it is most famous for, but I would take that with a grain of salt. Because for example in Mixolydian he says that it is hip and funky, but also the Mixolydian mode can be used for very melancholic music due to its minor chord on the fifth scale degree. I love how in each chapter it is shown how you can combine your familiar pentatonic scales with the current mode that you are learning. This is an amazing technique that I think many guitarists use. You find the note that's unique to the mode that you want to play in and you incorporate it into your pentatonic scales. It's extremely easy. As I already mentioned, my favorite part of each chapter is the quick reference guide that you have at the beginning. To the point and yet very complete. Not a word too much or too little. Here you can see the formula and construction of the mode, if it's major or minor oriented, what type of chords you will have on what scale degree and my favorite feature is the common progressions. And of course the five scale patterns for guitar. What I'm not a big fan of is that in the introduction and also further in the book modes are being referred to as scales within scales and also that modes have parent scales and although this is true this is not the way how I like to see modes. I see the musical modes as separate identities separate scales and also as separate keys or harmonies, so you have separate modal chord progressions. I find this to be the most powerful way of thinking about the musical modes and also in the book I would have liked to have seen more focus on modal chord progressions and on the harmonies themselves. But then again of course it is a book about melodies and leads so it can be forgiven. But overall the book Modes for Guitar by Tom Kolb is definitely a fantastic book and I've used it a lot throughout the years and I think it will come in handy for you too. So if you're interested then check out the link in the description. If there's any book or piece of equipment that you want me to review then post it in the comments and if I can get my hands on it I will review it. Don't forget to check out my lists for the best books on songwriting and the best books on musical composition. And if this was useful then of course give it a thumbs up and share it with your musical friends. Keep on reading, stay creative, and for now, see you next time.